All right, so we're back. Now we've separated everything. Um, this is the uh, Robotus Olo review, and we're going to be building the crane. Now, in our previous videos, we talked about what's inside the box. In the last video, we talked about all the pieces we're going to need. Now, this is inside of the inventor book, which I believe comes with the expansion set from the uh, Robotus Olo uh, Learn and Play Kit. Now, this one again is just going to be, they call it the tower crane on page 84. So again, in the beginning, they talked about all the pieces. We've already gone through that. Now we're going to start building. So it says here, <clears throat> looks like we have 30 steps that we're going to need to go through to build this. So let's start off with assembling a tower crane. Okay. Let me just kind of thumb through it one more time. What do we have ahead of us? Yeah, we have quite a bit. Okay, great, super. All right, so for each step, they have this little square here. So here, here, and here. That tells you all the pieces you need to build here, which is really nice. So not only do they show you how to put it together, they also show you, hey, you need to use this. At the same time, a couple things you need to keep handy while we're building. Your rivet case with all the rivets. Make sure to assemble them beforehand so you don't go crazy trying to assemble them during any build. And the rivet tool itself. So for this, we're going to need 12 rivet Ks. So they look like the black ones. I think they're all the same. And I remember building them that they pretty much were. So let's go ahead and get them. Now, there are a few that are longer than the other ones. And these guys are small, so I wouldn't be doing this on the rug. And make sure you don't have a dog or cat hanging around that's going to knock these things over or accidentally eat them. Okay, so we've got 12 rivets there, ready for us to use. We're going to need two 3x5 K. So here we are, two 3x5s. Okay. Two 5x5s, no sorry, one 5x5. Five five. So where is the 5x5? Five five? Here it is. Four 5x7s. Okay, and that's it. So, okay, so it says here that we're gonna have to. All right. Okay, so we're gonna take two of these, two of these, and uh, how many rivets are we gonna do here? Four rivets. For now. Okay, and I know it's hard to see since these are black, but basically all I'm doing right now is I'm getting the rivets ready with my rivet tool by lifting up the inner portion of the rivet because later on we're going to need, that's what's actually going to hold it in place what's, once it's in the hole, because when you push down on that it expands the plastic outer casing. Okay. Alright, so then it says we need to take these and basically put them in the middle, these little ones, and put them on the big ones. And then we're going to take each rivet, fit it in. Make sure it's centered and push down. That was pretty simple. I thought these rivets were going to be a little trickier. Now I want you to do one from the top, and one from the bottom. So we've gone ahead and done that. There's one. All right. So 
that part is done. So somehow we need to put all these here together. Not really sure how. Are these all the same? Yeah, these are all the same. This one the same. Yeah, that's the same. So let's just go ahead and position this another thing, more or less. And for this, for each side, we're going to need four rivets that are going to come up from underneath. And this is going to go, I'm assuming, like so. All right, so let me get four of these. And we need, you yeah, know, sure enough, there they are. Again, I'm getting the rivets ready. You can also do this with your finger. If you have, you don't need big nails. If you have enough nails, you can just kind of put it in there. All right, so we're going to put some of these rivets inside of each one of these. It looks like they're going to go on all four corners. So that we don't get complicated, I'm just going to put it on two of these. I'm going to go ahead and slip this one through. Alright, so that one's there. Let's do the same with the other one. Now remember, take your time with this. Really analyze what you're doing here. here this is what we've done you see the side the rivets are underneath like so pressed in really nicely now the next ones so as we can see this is actually going to fit in like this and like this that's what it looks like let me just make sure sure enough that's how it is so it looks like that on the bottom Got that one. Let's go ahead and do the same with this one. Oh, wait a minute. Let's back up here for a second. See which one the rivets went on. Turn off. Uh, did we make a mistake? Yes, we did. So let's go ahead. Use our tool. Push this rivet out. Push this one out here. Why did we make a mistake? Because we have to see where this other rivet was mounted and put it on the opposite side so the top mounted rivet has to go on the outside of this like so pointing that way you see so this piece here has a rivet that was mounted on the top and that has to be on the outside portion
right, so that one's mounted there. Let's repeat the same step for this one. So there we go, that was step one. So you can see this is gonna take quite a bit of time. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna construct each step and then show you a video after we've constructed each step and we're gonna put all the pieces together. Or maybe not. <laughs> it looks like these steps are pretty complicated. Now let's just continue.